Brian Little. <laughs> Welcome back everyone. As you guys can tell, it is very warm today, so I'm gonna be trying to get through this project as quickly as possible and as coolly as possible. So when you guys are working out in your yards or in your driveways or your friends' driveways and it's very warm, make sure you stay hydrated. Anyways, as you guys can see, I've already been at work a little bit, been working on some of the thread repairs um, on these Brembos. Uh, and then finally, I'm putting them car up on jack stands, getting everything ready for what we're doing today. So, let's show you guys now. We are finally getting our Brembos onto the car. Um, when I say ours, I mean mine. So they're not yours, they're mine. <laughs> and we are going to be kitted out with basically Faction Fab everything. We're doing Faction Fab rotors. They're bi uh, they're, they're bi-directional swept slotted rotors. They're stainless steel brake lines. Their performance pads, which are low dust, low noise, great performance. Um, and then of course the redone Brembos, which I've gone over in the last two videos. So if you haven't seen those, make sure you guys go watch that. We got everything we need. We got our one man bleeder, uh, brake bleeder kit, because we are gonna have to bleed these brakes. I have all of my Brembo parts down in here that I need to put into the calipers, all hardware, everything you need. Uh, we got our Motul brake fluid. Motul is the best. I use it for everything. We got our flared spanner wrenches, which are really important for getting those brake lines off the stock ones. So, um, we got brake clean for those rotors, and I'll go over that in a little bit. So let's get started. I'm not going to waste too much time today. Um, we're just going to get all these stock calipers and pads and all the stock system off and then we'll start with putting those new rotors on. There it is, there's the stock caliper. My brake pads are actually in pretty good shape. I could probably sell these. Nice. Okay, rotor off. So here are the faction fabs. Obviously we have Slopped, slotted and swept, well, swept slots, bi-directional. We have a really nice, uh, what they call an E-coating, which is all this black coating, which helps um, reduce oxidization. Actually, basically eliminates it entirely. As you can see here, some really nice veins on the inside for cooling. And these are honestly just like the best for your bang for your buck you're gonna get compared to the stock ones, old and nasty. And I believe, so on the front, there's a very slight difference in size as well. On the back, the size is much more pronounced. We'll actually have to clip off the stock dust shield. So um, let's get this one on. I'm gonna go and clean up that hub really quick. So this little nut right here, uh, we're gonna be using a 10 millimeter uh, flared spanner to get this undone. But as you can see, there's a, lots of grime and dirt down in here. So I'm just gonna hit it with some uh, brake clean real quick. Oh, there we go. 20 minutes later, I finally got this, this off guys. And basically, I had to use two different sets of vice grips to make sure I didn't strip this little fitting here. 
my understanding is this is gonna start spewing brake fluid as soon as I move this, so. Okay, so we were supplied a little stopper from Faction Fab, which is amazing. Let me just put those the stopper on here. So it doesn't leak too much. Perfect. That is a removed caliper. Cool. Make sure, like I said, you're gonna be brake cleaning that entire rotor face on the front and rear. Just give it a nice wipe down after. Make sure you get all that oil and any little metal part particles and things like that off. So to make sure that your rotors aren't gonna be sticking to the face of the hub, we're gonna be using uh, some white lithium grease here, just on the face of the hub. And then I'll put a tiny bit on the back of the rotor. And this is going to make sure that everything stays nice and lubricated back here. And that when you do have to go and get your rotors changed again, they're not getting stuck and deformed on the face of your hub. Nice. So what's great about the, uh, the fronts here, uh, when you are doing an STI swap, the fronts and rears, the size is just slightly, slightly different. So you don't actually have to trim the, uh, the dust shield in the back here, but uh, in the rears, um, I'm gonna have to show you guys how I'm uh, trimming this. Originally, I thought I was gonna use a Dremel all the way around a metal cutting wheel, but I realized it's just gonna take too long. So I went with the manual effort and uh, just some nice clippers, some pliers, um, some like shears, big metal shears to go all the way around and clip that dust shield. So I'll show you guys that in the back in just a second. As for the fronts here, we are ready to start connecting our new brake lines and then mock up our first, for the first time, the uh, the Brembos in the front here. So let me grab the, uh, the, the Faction Fab brake lines. So on the back of your caliper here, you have the spot where your line is going to be attached. And Faction Fab did a great job supplying all the equipment that you need, all the hardware. So I'm gonna grab two of these washers. This is the stopper for the other side. Your banjo bolt. That's all we need for now. Leave one of these clips out. Right in the instructions here. It's 12 millimeter. Uh, banjo bolt is down to 14 foot pounds. So I'm gonna grab my torque wrench. And just like the instructions say, we're torquing these down to 14 foot pounds. All right, that's it. Those are ready to go. But for the fronts here, we are using two M12 by one and a half bolts. Um, I did not get these from Subaru. I got these from McMaster Car. Um, I'll put the product product link to these uh, in the description. Um, I, let's see, make sure I got the M12. These are the washers, perfect. Always make sure for these you're adding anti-seize. Okay. All right, time to connect that brake line back. All right, no more line wrenches. No more. Ever. I think that's good. There we go. Let's give you guys the first peek. What this is gonna look like. Oh yeah, they look good. I guess I'll show you real quick how to disassemble this. The rears, it's pretty simple. We're getting that 12 millimeter bolt off for the stock brake line. 
Um, and then what we can actually do, we'll be using that later to pop this rotor off. So we're doing those two 14 millimeters that hold the caliper. That's good. So this dust shield has to go guys because, or at least part of it does, because our um, rotors in the back are a lot bigger. So we're gonna be clipping all the way around just where this lip is and it's pretty tedious. I'll just show you guys a couple cuts and you know, best way to do it. But I'm using these big garden shears here. So eventually I'm gonna get all this off and then I'm gonna, we're gonna be doing is I'm um, taking pliers and bending this piece straight up so it's flat and not scratching against the back of the rotor. All right guys, so I got the uh, calipers all mounted up. I gotta clean them off after. But I'm gonna be torquing these down in the back to 40 foot pounds. So we got our bleeder valves tightened. We have our banjo bolt in the back of the caliper torqued down. We got our brake line reconnected, got the rotors. And next is um, just to bleed the brakes. That's it. Get all the air pockets out of those calipers that you just added. So um, that's about it. Um, we're gonna. I'm gonna show you that bleeding process. You do need two people for the way I'm doing it, but um, not, not actually not necessarily. You don't really need, but it's easiest with two people. So not done yet, but um, everything is all set up for us to start our brake bleed process. Um, so I'm gonna be doing. I just opened up the hood here. Here's our. Brake master cylinder, or the brake master cylinders down there. Brake reservoir. Um, just gonna be topping that off with the new brake fluid, and then checking that every corner, and just topping it off again each time. And I'll go show you guys what we're doing for the brake bleed on uh, the back corner. So we're at the front passenger side, and we are getting ready to bleed. Uh, we have already bled the uh, the rears, um, both rears. Um, whenever you're bleeding a, a car, especially when you're setting up brand new calipers, you need to make sure you do two things. One, you need to always start at the farthest point from your master cylinder, your brake master cylinder and your reservoir. Um, and you start as far away from those as possible. And then when you do, so that's for us, that's the passenger rear corner. And then on top of that, when you're doing that, you need to go inside bleeder, outside bleeder always. So from there, you're going back right, which is the second farthest, inside bleeder, outside bleeder on that one, and then third farthest, inside bleeder, outside bleeder. So once you have that ready, um, you want to make sure everything's tightened down, of course. Um, you got to have somebody in your car pump the brakes up until they feel that it's not really, they can't really press anymore. So go ahead and do that, please. Once that's done, once that's ready, then you can open up the bleeder valve and let all that air out. We're pressurized, I'm on this uh, second valve again, um, or now, so I'm just gonna open that up. Let's see. So we're just getting air right now. Pump it. All right. And there we go. Hopefully you guys can see this. There we go. All those bubbles. And as you can see, there are a lot. We're just gonna wait for these bubbles to go, then we'll close it, and we'll just keep doing that until the amount of bubbles we see is very, very, very minimal. Um, I do plan on coming back and bleeding these again about one week from now after the brake fluid's gone through a couple heat cycles. Um, I'll also have to take a look at the clutch to make sure that everything with the clutch is okay because as you guys know, for these cars, the brake um, reservoir and the clutch reservoir are the same fluid in the same reservoir, so um, yeah. All right, and pump please. One good thing I'm seeing is that even though that this brake fluid is actually pretty old for the car, I never changed mine. Uh, I'm noticing that it is very clear. It's not super dark and it's not milky. Uh, if it's milky, that means you have water that got mixed in there and that's really bad. So um, if you are doing an oil change or, or sorry, brake fluid change um, and you see discoloration, that just probably means it's old or you might have some corroded lines. Uh, if you see milkiness, that means that it's uh, full of water, which we don't want. So 
All right, I think that's good for that one. And we'll move on to the last one. All right, guys, welcome back. We are completely done with our Brembo swap, and I have to say it looks absolutely amazing. I am so happy with how this turned out. Um, I just want to take a second to go over again um, all the parts that I went on uh, that went on the car for this project and why I chose them. Uh, first off, let's talk about the Faction Fab rotors um, and essentially their entire brake package. Why did I go with that? There's so many other options on the market. There's Stop Tech. There's um, you know, there's there's the Brembo brakes themselves. Um, there's a lot of different other options. Um, I personally went with Faction Fab because one, their name is out there. They're actually a really, really consistent company that makes good products. And I really trust them because a lot of their applications are specifically for Subaru themselves. So anything that they engineer for car, Subaru cars, you know it's gonna be top notch. They put a lot of engineering to all their products. Um, specifically their rotors, um, I did not go with drilled. I only went with the slotted rotors because one, um, you're gonna get better pad wear, better rotor life, and a, you know better mileage on these components with the slotted versus drilled. If you have drilled, you have chances of, you know, if you're taking them and putting a lot of heat cycles through them, especially if you're just daily driver in the highway or something like that, with drilled uh, rotors, you are more likely to have a cracked rotor or a cracked face. So, oh, it is very hot today. Um, that's the reason why I went with the slotted rotors. On top of that, Faction Fab, um, they did engineer these as high carbon rotors, which means that they're going to have the best, uh, one of the best shelf life. So basically they're going to be on the car for the longest time. You're gonna have a lot of pad changes without these rotors themselves wearing out. And what's great about this, the, the slotted rotors, um, you can actually um, see as the, the, the rotor's face declines, you know, as, as it's, uh, it gets smaller and smaller. You can actually see that because you have uh, channels that are slotted out where you can actually see uh, the depth change over time. Um, and lastly, of course, performance. I showed you before those massive, massive symmetrical veins on the in between the two faces of the rotor are going to really help with cooling. Um, the size upgrade from WRX STI is going to be amazing. Uh, and then the other parts of that from Faction Fab are the stainless steel brake lines. Uh, of course, it's going to really increase pedal feel and then performance because you don't have a uh, heated fluid and a, a heated brake line fluid going through the stock rubber brake lines and expanding it every time you're trying to crank on down on the pedal. Uh, now you have nice stainless steel braided lines that are not going to expand. So that's wonderful. And then lastly, we have the Faction Fab pads. Um, Rally Sport uh, did a really good job uh, explaining the benefits of the pad and the, the chemical compound makeup of them. Um, I'll put that link right here, but essentially, they're, from what I understand, they're the perfect balance of daily, um, you know, aggressive driving track pad for street, but also available for the track. So um, they're an intermediate pad. You're not gonna get, they're low dust, low noise, um, for about a week, uh, a couple weeks of driving on them now. Um, it's about two weeks later since I first finished that install. Um, the amount of, of dust is actually not that much at all. Um, it's definitely better than the Subaru OEM ones. Um, it's definitely lower dust, um, but the bite and the performance on them is absolutely amazing. Um, so low dust, low noise. Um, they're not going to be the absolute most aggressive pad in the world, but like I said, they're going to be great for aggressive street driving and a couple track days here and there if that's what you're into. So, so that's the reason why I went with Faction Fab. So huge shout out to them. Thank you guys for making such a great product and a great brake package. You know, the rotors, lines, and pads all together. And thank you Rally Sport for shipping that out to us. So um, really quick, I just want to show you guys. Here is the finished product, and as you can see, I've driven through a couple of rainstorms. Yeah, it's been a couple weeks, and that's not really that much dust. It really isn't, but what's great, and I'll show you guys now, is I'm gonna hit these with the power washer really quick and show you guys just the magic of that ceramic coating we added to both the caliper face and the wheels themselves, um, just so you can see that. Look at that water beating, that is insane. 
and just, you know, nothing. Beautiful. G Technique C5 wheel armor. And look at those white Brembos. Already, just look beautiful. So we're in the car now. Um, before I end the video, I just wanted to take a quick second to give my first impressions of the actual performance of these from in the car. Um, like I said before, they are very low noise uh, for the rotors and the pads, the combo between both of those. Um, I have not heard any squeaking at all. Uh, the Brembos themselves came out amazing. Uh, I'm just really happy with it. Um, of course, the performance um, compared to what I had before. The first five to 10%, the first, maybe the first quarter of the pedal, um, it feels pretty similar to before, um, meaning that, you know, it's not like crazy harsh brakes where it's just grabbing the pedal from you and slamming, you know, the car into a stop uh, really quickly. But um, it's definitely, uh, it's a lot softer in the first little bit of pedal, so it's nice and easy to modulate. It's easy for daily driving. You can articulate it really easily. Um, but when you need to stop, this setup stops. Um, the, the, the biggest benefits you're going to see between the difference between the WRX and the STI brake system is um, with the upgraded rotor size and the swept rotors I have now, so the symmetrically veined rotors, um, all of those aspects are going to help with uh, brake fade and reducing brake fade over time on the track when you're really beating on the car and really hitting the brakes hard but that being said the stopping power is is definitely there even when you're just stopping normally from a stop or in an emergency situation uh, i did bed the brakes but just for a second you know about 35 miles an hour 40 just smoother, so much sharper, feels really good. Um, I'm so happy with them. Overall, the system just feels absolutely amazing. It really does. Um, the brake pedal, the pedal feel itself just feels really good. It's nice and linear, and it's really sharp to respond to your input. It's just really quick. The pedal doesn't feel mushy. Um, yeah, so really, really happy with everything. Uh, and then on the faction fab side of things, just really good quality. Um, the brake pad selection, the way they chose their compound, I think is honestly the perfect combination of aggressive and daily drivable uh, features. So um, great job, Faction Fab. And, and, and once again, thank you to both Faction Fab and Rally Sport uh, for getting these out to us, um, especially during you know COVID and you know limited supplies and things like that. So yeah. All right, guys. That's the end of it. Uh, that's all we have for you this week. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you're seeing, uh, if you like the content we're putting out, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like this video, comment down below. What do you guys think of this, uh, this Brembo swap? Do you like the color white? Um, we'll, we'll see how easy it is to keep it clean, but um, yeah, I'm really happy how it came out. And uh, thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who's continued to support us and support the channel. So yeah. Um, in the description down below, I will link uh, a full list of everything you'll need to do your uh, STI Brembo swap from the WRX to the STI, including the uh, Faction Fab full brake package. So, yeah, that's all I have for you today. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and we will see you next week.